Hello everybody, this is Stocky here, and tonight I thought I would do just a quick, um, maybe you'd call it like a, no, demo is the wrong word, definitely the wrong word, but it, it's a video where I'm going to do a little bit of an explanation about Daisy single player. Um, I know I've been doing a whole heap of videos on actually playing it, but for those of you who, who aren't aware, Daisy clearly is a multiplayer mod, but there are lots of different versions of Daisy, the multiplayer mod, and that's where the unofficial Daisy releases page, which will be a link in the description, um, comes into play. Now, I've been playing Factions. Up until right now, I've been playing Factions 2.1, which is, is this version just here. That's for the older version of Daisy, because 1.7.7 is out now, but 1.6.1. But what I thought I'd let you guys know, for those of you who didn't already know, um, there are a lot of different maps for Daisy. There are also lots of different kinds of mods for Daisy. So, for example, here we have Namalsk, which is 0 0.741 for 1.7.6.1. Now, it is a different map. It's the Namalsk map rather than Shinaris. And, I mean, it is a number of different features. You can see it's, it's kind of a snowy sort of map. Um, each of the missions has a little bit of a different flavour to them and things that are just a little bit different. Uh, unfortunately, these are the only shots here, but because it's a kind of a snow setting, you've got white ghillie suits and it's a bit of an arctic sort of environment in certain areas. Uh, again, totally different map, totally different spawns, totally different loot, that kind of stuff. Really, you know, neat kind of addition to it if you're bored of playing the standard version. Then clearly there's the standard version I've been pay playing and what makes factions factions is the fact that it has survivor AI, so friendlies that won't shoot you, you can help them, you can recruit them, and they will support you like other players would be, and you know you can get them to help you against the bandits and things like that, so it, it's kind of like teaming up in multiplayer, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's also Lingor Island, um, this particular version is also for 1.7.6. So it is set on an island. It's actually quite a small island in terms of a comparison with the other versions of DayZ. But again, there's lots of AI. This particular one doesn't have friendly AI. It only has bandits, so it's it's a very uh, PvP practice type map. But again, lots of fun. Um, there's also Napf, and this is a very new one. It's a completely new map that, as far as I can tell, no other version of DayZ uses. <coughs> Above, who's the creator, has for pretty much I can tell, converted the armor to Napf map to work with DayZ. He's done everything himself. Um, he hasn't added a whole lot of buildings and things, but he's made all the buildings that are there work. Um, he's had a lot of really cool features. He's thinking of adding a factions like friendly AI in the next version, but he's not totally sure right now. Um, it did have building in it, but it was a little bit bugged, so the very latest version doesn't have it. Uh, but you can expect it to come back soon again. Just like all the standard ones, it has, you know, lots of weapons out of armor too, as well as the Daisy weapons. Um, one of the really cool things is he's replaced all of the heli crashes with C-130 crashes, just to give things a bit of a different, bit of a unique kind of feel. Um, this is another cool feature, which some people like, some people might not like, but it basically means if you find a bandit who's wearing a certain costume, you can actually basically take his clothes and swap them for the clothes that you're wearing. Uh, it includes a whole lot of vehicles, huge amounts of new weapons, really cool. Um, again, a, a really different take, completely different map for those of you who might be sick of the standard DayZ map. Now, clearly you, you've seen me play a lot of Factions. Uh, factions 2017 is basically the same thing, but it's set uh, five or ten years after the original DayZ outbreak happened, uh, so it's really reduced um, a lot of the spawns, it's it's much more survival oriented. Um, it's added in uh, the ability to cannibalize other people and things like that and cook their food. It's added the ability to, to if you're desperate, eat zombie flesh. So it's added in a real gritty kind of survival. A lot of people don't like it because the loot's a lot less scarce and they've taken out pretty much all of the military loot as well. Uh, pretty much the idea being that it's a post-apocalyptic future None of the militaries are manufacturing anything, so it's basically all run out. Um, this is the version that I'm likely to start playing very soon. Uh, it's Factions 2.5. I'm going to wait for the next update, but it's for the very latest version of DayZ, so it has all the very latest features from DayZ in there. 
um, plus all the standard features that you get with you know patrolling vehicles, patrolling choppers, um, Zeds infecting you. There's a couple of tweaks to make it more single player oriented like EpiPens have been removed from the loot tables because you can't actually use an EpiPen on yourself and they've added in self blood bagging so I mean th there's a lot of things that have been tweaked to make it more single player oriented and again because it's factions that means it includes survivor AR that you can recruit and I was lucky enough to recruit my first survivor the other day he had a, uh, an MP5 SD while I was practicing and he really ripped up the zombies it was really cool to have someone kind of supporting me he was calling out you know you know target at 11 o'clock target at 1 o'clock it was it was it was really cool it was it was like playing co-op it was a lot of fun now the next one is breaking point now this is a pretty popular uh, version of DayZ as a mod goes and the reason that it's pretty popular is I think we can jump into somewhere down here it lists what the features are um, no I might actually have to go to the days to the breaking point website but basically it it adds in like more than 600 new weapons um, it completely changes all of the sound effects for all of the weapons and the reloading animations and and basically updates everything to make it a more cohesive kind of package um, it's yeah, added in heaps of new vehicles heaps of new loot uh, a completely changed game dynamic to what the original had it's got some basic base building kinds of things it's I mean I personally think it's it's a really cool change it's got uh, helicopter patrols again it's got vehicles lots of different kinds of uh, bandits no friendlies but lots of things that will I guess make the game a lot more fun if you think the standard DayZ is a bit repetitive I, I kinda stress that bit because it has so many different kinds of weapons and so much different kinds of loot and things it, it could potentially be considered to be a bit OP but it really depends on what it is that you're looking for if, you, if you're kind of sick of always finding a Lee Enfield and always finding a Makarov and you want something that's different uh, this could very well be the thing for you it adds like I said 600 new weapons now I mean, they they pull that number out in the development page, but it, I mean, if you count the uh, the M4A1, the M4A2, the M4A1 with an ACOG sight, and, and all those other different variations, it's probably not really that many, but it's definitely a lot of new weapons. And what I thought I might do, because I haven't shown it yet, is I might do a quick um, show of the NAP map, which is the new map that I think is really cool, which is for version 1.7.7. And then I'll do a quick show of the breaking point as well, just to, I guess, show you guys um, how the hell they're a little bit different in terms of how you start off and how the game plays at the start compared to the standard factions that I've been playing. So I will load the game up and I will jump in and see you guys soon. Okay guys, so here we are. This is breaking point single player. Now, something I totally forgot to mention uh, in the last one is that some of the breaking point features are not included in this particular mod. Uh, one of the features that's not included is, at least I don't believe that it's included in this version, although it could be, uh, is the three new kinds of zombies, the I guess the infected hounds, um, then there's the night stalker, and the bloodsucker. I don't believe those those particular mobs are actually included. Uh, what is interesting though is you will always spawn uh, with a taser and three clips for your taser and like a small backpack. Our uh, backpack's empty but these are the things that you pretty much always spawn with. Just ignore that lost key menu. I've got Loki's lost key installed. Um, it's pretty much so when I'm testing different things and testing stuff out I can teleport myself around the map to save me running around um, it also means when I'm going to show you in the next part of this video the different map it means I can also spawn in actually I wonder if this is even Shinaris this could be a different map and I just don't recognize it I'm not actually sure at all what I might do though is I might just kind of squat here and while I'm out of the way, uh, use lost key. Mm, actually, you know what? That might not even work. I wonder if I can spawn something in. Uh, utilities. Mm, 
No, doesn't seem to work. What I was hoping... Huh, yeah, cool. It looks like you can just click on this and adjust your loadout to be something different. Uh, what I was actually hoping to do was be able to spawn in a map so that I could show you guys uh, what the map is for this. Uh, it looks like I may not be able to do that though. Oh. So you can hear the, the new zombie sound effects. I'm not sure that the taser should have been that noisy. What do we have here? An SA50 CCO. You can see that I had the option to move the object. You have options like move object, drag object, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's a cool weapon. Uh, but I have no ammo for it. What have we got here? We've got Glock 17 mags. Those aren't exactly a lot of use. But you can see, like, yeah. I, I honestly don't know if this is a different map or not. But whatever it is, it's very cool. And I've been having a lot of fun just playing around with it, taking out the new weapons. Now, time to see how good my Russian is. Okay, an A is an A, so that's really easy. Uh, the O is an O. Uh, that backwards N thing, I think that's like an L. And that funny little B thing. I don't remember what that is, but we've got A, L, O. I think a T is a T. So this could be like blotter. I'm not, I'll be honest, I, I, I don't entirely know. But I think it's, it's something very similar to that anyway, if it's not. Ooh, we've got a couple of cans of Coke. So that, that is definitely one thing about this particular mod. Um, your PPK. I might take two PPK mags just in case. You, you're definitely going to find a lot more loot in this. I'm, I'm not sure if the idea behind it is that you're kind of spawning in at a time that is very close to when uh, the breakout happened. But whatever it is, it's it's definitely a really cool uh, gameplay sort of style if you're someone who likes it being very actiony and finding a lot of high value loot quite easily. Because you can see here that I'm... Well, look at that. I, didn't, I wasn't even going to check that. That's... Oh, that's not good. So let's just get over here out of the way before I aggro those zombies up. Let's check what we got now. Hopefully, yes, I have some ammo for it. That's an excellent thing. Um, so we want to pull this out. Reload. So now we have a silenced 5.56 assault rifle. Uh, but like, like you can see with the whole you know, loot spawning in the back of the truck thing and that oh, no, that was a zombie but one of the things that this mod does include is uh, zombie dogs I'm not exactly sure how they work though ah oh, man, pissed him off No, I hit vault. I hit vault. Get over that wall. Yep. You heard, once again, another uh, unique zombie sound that's been added. I'm now bleeding. That sucks. Um... Let's fix that bleeding. And hopefully I can fix that bleeding before someone gets me. And makes me bleed again. There we go, that's looking good. Now, I, I generally, on all the versions of this that I install, um, add the JSRS sound mod. Now this particular version, I don't do that. because of all the new weapons they add. 
because the, the new weapons basically don't all work nicely with the sound that comes with um, yeah that, that don't all work nicely with the with the sound pack that comes with JSRS because that is a dog I'm gonna go see if I can recruit that dog I have heard that I should be able to So once I get close enough to that dog, it should say recruit. Although dogs are still a work in progress. Come on, doggy. Stop running away. I'm friendly. He's like chasing butterflies, crazy dog. I know dogs that do that in real life, so it's not that far off true. Where'd he go? I was here a second ago. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Ran around a whole lot of circles to try and find a dog, and he wasn't even there. No, but what an annoyance. Okay, never mind. But yeah, so this is uh, Daisy Breaking Point. Uh, it's got the cool monitor up on the right hand side that gives you a little bit of details about stuff that's going on. Is that that dog again? It does indeed look like it. I would hate to have to shoot it to get its attention. Uh, something I have noticed with this mod where did that shot come from? it sounds like I can hear someone shooting a silenced weapon, that's the blotter airfield I think over there so I might just head over the airfield and see what's going on but um, yes, I, I think that this personally is, is a lot of fun uh, because it, it can be so much more intense and so much more action-packed because military loot is more common and again that's not everyone's cup of tea for DayZ and sometimes the weapon packs don't even kind of really gel together that well because they've added in so many weapon packs it's like they've kind of tried to add everything where the heck did that sound come from? I can hear him, but I can't see him. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's keep going. But yeah, it definitely adds a, a different feel to the standard DayZ game. It sounds like someone's sh shooting at me. Really odd, but I'll keep moving. Yeah. Something I have noticed is that, that targeting cursor for that rifle seems to be. seems to be set up to fire quite a bit low. which depending on who you are may be an annoyance, it may not be personally for me it's a bit of an annoyance definitely sounds like he's getting really close to me and that's annoying couple of shots left in this mag, let's go check the airfield out I'm just gonna run through here cause I have this crazy feeling there's going to be like bandits sniping me like most of these airfields are what are you? take camping tent, okay sounds perfect how much gear have I got? a couple more slots left so yeah I mean there is ooh. 
That's cool. Let's see how we're doing. Get in the jackal as the commander. That sounds cool. Um, to the driver's seat. That looks to be one fully healed vehicle. Now there's, there's supposed to be a damage script running that's supposed to stop you vehicles from spawning fully healed. They're supposed to spawn basically beat up and banged up. But for this demo I'm not going to complain anyway. Because this is just cool. Let's turn the engine off. Let's get out and have a quick look around. See if anything good spawned in here. I think, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the Belotta airfield. Although, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what that B symbol was. So I've got myself 150 humanity. Guess I got that from just killing a couple of zombies. Climb that ladder up, hey? Let's see what we got up here. Nada. Nothing. That sucks. <clears throat> but like I said, this is not everybody's piece of cake. Wow, they really spawned fast now. But I find this to be... Oh, huh, got, my, my, got my gun stuck. I definitely find this to be just a lot of fun when you want to have something crazy go on. Like gunfights with hundreds of zombies at the OK Corral style thing. Are you a zombie? You're definitely not saying survivor. I wonder if he's like a power zombie because he was moving pretty quick. That sounded a lot like someone shooting a silenced weapon. That sounds a crazy amount like someone shooting a silenced weapon near me. I wonder if you have any gear on you. I don't think you do. Nope. The other thing is, I think the taser... Oh, crap. I think the taser does not kill. So my belief is that if something happens and you get shot by a taser or someone shoots you with a taser, uh, it doesn't actually kill you, it just knocks you unconscious for a, I think it's a reasonable period. I do like this holographic sight. But like I said, it's been pretty hit and miss in my experience. I found that a lot of the time it just doesn't hit the target it's supposed to hit. That it ends up firing a little higher, a little low. But anyway, I've probably recorded more of this than I really wanted to. This is Daisy uh, Breaking Point. And yeah, it would definitely seems to me anyway like this is the Shinaris map. What have we got here? Gear. Got, ooh, Spec Ops clothing. Let's put that on. Oh, look at that. We are now going to just ruin someone's day. It still has all the standard fun armor 2 glitches with lighting and stuff like that, but that's fine. It is definitely a fun mod. Um, as to whether it's the kind of DayZ mod that you want to play, that really depends on the kind of game that you want. Whether you, you know, if you like the abundance of loot and you like things being aimed at being more, uh, I would say, fun than serious, then this could potentially be the mod for you. Um, until next time, anyway. Um, well, actually, and the next time is going to be in just a few seconds. 
I'm going to quit out of this now and I'm going to come back in and I'm going to be playing um, Daisy Napf. Actually, first of all, let's see what else what we've got here. Gear, netting material. Okay, that's cool. That can actually be used uh, to help build bases and cover them with cam netting. So that's a, that's a really cool thing as well. Uh, but until next time, in 30 seconds, um, this has been Daisy Breaking Point. Back soon. Okay guys, here I am in uh, Daisy Napf. So this is for 1.7.7, which means you get the the really cool, really awesome uh, zombie kill you things and the infection, all that kind of stuff. And I've spawned, um, well it said wilderness, but that is clearly quite a large sort of town. There's a fire station. Uh, you don't start with a weapon in this version of DayZ, um, and this is the new map. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use Lost Key, and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and show you the map. So, uh, this is the map. You can see it, it is uh, an island. It's quite a large island, and you can see. So I think yeah, I think that little cross there is where I am, but I don't know for sure. But there's a Big, there's a bunch of big cities sort of up on the northern coast up here, like a heap of really big cities with lots of loot. And then I believe as you go down a bit further, somewhere down the middle, there's a, there's a military base. And then up near this major city here, Lutzen, which is the biggest city, uh, there's actually a um, airfield, like an international type airfield. So there's the military airfield and there's an international airfield. Now I don't know that much about military loot and things where they spawn in this map because it really is a brand new map. Um, but it is very, very cool looking. Um, it's just totally different. I don't know how big it is. Um, but it definitely feels like it's a good sized map for single player. I've had a bit of a run around, checked out a bunch of the apartments and things that are in one of the cities previously. I get really good performance from it too. I'm not entirely sure why that would be, but it seems to run really well for me. And, I mean, I spawned in, and before the game had even finished loading the UI, there was zombie, uh, bandits shooting that I could hear. So, again, that's not the coolest thing ever. It's not the way you want to start a game, but... I guess hopefully we'll get in here now and we'll get some loot. So what we got? We got f oh water bottle and some flares. I don't think I'm going to have a use for all these flares, but to be fair, you just never know. Well, the door's already open. Okay, I thought it was closed. What do we got here then? Empty tin cans. Now that definitely looked like a fire station, so I'm going to check that out. No, nothing there. Ah, oh, man, I can hear zombies inside it. Okay, so I'm going to hopefully get past this guy. Hopefully. All I can say is smoke grenades. They might come in handy later. we got here. Empty tin cans. Great. Nothing. Ah, uh, I mean. Okay, we got the MP5 uh, SD6. This weapon is not equipped with a close quarter battle scope. What do we got here? He's carrying a 338 Lapua magazine. I tell you what. Actually, you know what? I am going to take that because if I find a 338 Lapua, I'm going to want that. But again, a totally different map. Everything is just uh, completely different. I think. Yeah, I think the way this 
is meant to work is that any time you find a zombie that's dressed up in military gear he's supposed to have some kind of just basic military loot on him so I mean if, if I um, if, you know if I was to find at any stage Yeah, if I was to find at any stage something good, red smoke grenades. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of the use for the red smoke grenades, but we'll we'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah. So he just had an empty soda can. Uh, this is another cool thing I like about it. There are a lot of different Zeds. Like that guy has an axe in his head. He's only got an empty soda can, so I don't really want that. I don't know what this guy's got. He's got nothing at all. Wow. Like I've only just spawned and already I can hear a chopper. Now this particular version, uh, I believe I am using the JSRS sound mod. Can't do that door. Now this this has the time cycle installed. Come on, come through the door. What have we got over there? Boxes of nails. I, I guess they're a building material. More Glock 17 mags. He has a can of sardines. So let's drop some flares take the sardines. Now I'm not actually hungry uh, it just looks like I'm hungry because the UI sometimes doesn't spawn incorrectly. It still functions perfectly it just doesn't always look like it works perfectly. But yeah, Pretty much every Zed will have some kind of random loot on them so that makes it I guess worthwhile to check things out and to see how you're going. What's he got? Nothing, okay. So we'll get rid of him as well. We have a... So this looks kind of like the school building. So you sometimes find some loot in here. Now, depending on... Wow. Through the wall, that's awesome. Civilian clothing 11. Not going to hang around in there. Um. Let's see what's up here. Pair of binoculars, that's going to be cool. That is going to come in. Uh, that is going to come in most handy. So, yeah, again, I, I'm not entirely sure how uh, US pilot outfit. Um, that's kind of cool looking. I do not mind that. What my old clothes? That was just civilian clothing. I'll get rid of that. I don't need to carry that around with me. Now that I'm decked out in my pool, my my pool, my cool pilot garb, a chem light. Yeah, I don't think. I think now that I'm a cool pilot, that isn't. That must have come with a lot of boot polish because I went from being a you know, 30s something white guy to a fit pilot with cool green pilot gloves. Okay, there's a zombie. There's a bunch of zombies. Um, bye. But yeah, like I said, there's heaps of different zombie skins, different um, kind of textures and things on zombies. 
I'm wearing a desert camo pilot suit, uh, which is probably not even remotely useful in this kind of area. And I'm carrying a desert camo rifle. Uh, well, high power submachine gun, which is probably also not remotely useful. Wow, I've got some wobbles going on. That was a bad example of shooting. So I guess what I would be interested to find out from you guys is now that I've uh, shown you, well, I mean you know what Factions is about, but now that I've shown you NAPF, would you guys rather see me play Factions 2.5 or would you rather see me play this and explore a new map? I'm kind of open to whatever it is that you guys would like. Um, like I said, personally, I think I think this is really cool. Oh, that was bad timing. How did that not work? Oh wow, I only have one magazine too. Do I have a sidearm? No, I do not. Um, <laughs> this is when Loki's lost key can come in really handy, because like I said, I'm just mucking around. Oh, I've been infected. Dang it. I don't think I have any antibiotics either. I better not stop to check my gear now, because I'm concerned I might fall. But definitely having blood related issues. Um, gear. Oh. That's going to end badly for me. Okay, these guys are going to own me. So, um, let's see if we have a cheat menu actually. Custom loadouts. Oh, dead. Okay, too late. Um,. Well, uh, so thank you very much for watching. Like I said, let me know in the comments whether you'd rather see me play the regular Shinaris map uh, with the Daisy factions, or whether you'd rather see me play uh, this particular variant of the game. Now, something has... Yeah, the, the, the UI has glitched a little bit. Which is just, I mean, that, that's kind of okay. It's not, it's not a huge deal. Sometimes when the respawning thing happens, it does glitch a bit. So there we go. The, the UI has fixed itself back up now. It, it, it still thinks I have a broken bone, which is carried over from the very last version. But if I reload this weapon, everything's back to normal. There we go. ACOG site. What kind of backpack did I spawn with now? Because it's not your regular check, it's a check vest pouch. So it has the. Oh, it's only got six slots. So it's, it's a. I guess it's a different kind of randomness to the skins that you spawn with. Um, you'll have to ignore that, that broken part of the UI. I don't know if. Sometimes they have a fix for those. Um, there's a journal fix. Utilities. Yeah, it does have the time cycle installed, uh, which means from daytime to nighttime is on the order of like three hours, I think, something like that, instead of being 24 hours, which is it's really handy. And you can also use the utility menu to, to, to skip an hour at a time if, if you decide that you want it to say if you want to wait till dusk before you go and check out a town or something like that. So it's it's got some it's got some cool features, the same kind of features that Breaking Point has, and Factions has most of them as well again. Um, it's really it's really up to you guys. Would you rather see me play Shinaris or would you rather see me play this map which is Nap, which is 
it is it is pretty new it's pretty unique wow take the Glock 17 I'm definitely gonna do that that is most excellent um, wonder I'm not sure if skins actually work on chicks undercover agent uniform uh, let's drop some sardines take that uniform and see if I can wear it currently female characters cannot change to this skin okay so uh, kinda stuck Makarov mags, who wants a Makarov mag? I've, I have a silenced Glock 17 I happen to love the Glock 17 I can't can't shoot straight with it but I love it, it's an, it's an awesome pistol yeah so uh, definitely finishing up now um, oh crap But, yeah, let me know what you'd like to see me play. I am keen to start up a new one of some version of the game. And I would be just as happy to play this as anything else if you would like to see this. Uh, like I said, if you'd like to see the standard Shinaras, I'm happy to do that as well. It all just comes up to what you guys would like to see. So, uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video uh, informative and you... Uh, This is like a, a new supermarket, that's cool. Anything in the pack? No, there's nothing in the pack. So yeah, so if you guys... Actually, there you go, I have a map now. So I can show you the map. So... Probably should put that down while... I think I want to get shot. Okay, let's lay down. Pull the map out. So there you go, there's the map. Um, it's a fairly reasonable sized map. Like I said, you've got your big towns. Um, I'm sure it was somewhere just here was the airfield. Farmland. Ah, there we go. Up on the, right at the top is the international airfield. It even says it. I can't believe I didn't see that. There's a couple of little islands. I don't know if there's anything on those islands. But, yeah, again, it's totally up to you guys. And I suggest that you try them out if you're interested in playing a bit of single player just to see which version it is that you like the most because they all have different things to offer um, they will all give you a similar but different gameplay experience that um, I guess you have so much choice you're crazy if you don't check them all out just to find out what version it is that you like so again thank you very much for watching A Stocky out